wonder what you think of when the lights go out. After the farewells, once the door is locked and all that's left of the evening are the echoes of fresh coffee, the tears and laughter we splattered on your walls, and the lingering mellow vibration of the things we just experienced on your floor, when, we're all, when you're all by yourself, what goes through your mind? Because our days without you pass slow like grief, grueling and arduous, only motivated by the prospect of being with you again. For so many of us, life can be so dull and colorless, but you're our favorite box of Crayola, the big box with the sharpener on the back, and every crayon that holds a place within you could paint a masterpiece to rival any Renaissance reject, paintbrush, pen, or magic wand. Within your walls, judgment is a dirty word. Support and compassion are your hobbies, and love is your favorite hymn. You're a temple full of gods and goddesses who worship one another. This stage is your altar, and we've all sacrificed so much here. We have bled, we have cried, we have laughed, we have sang, we have danced, we have gotten undressed metaphorically and literally. We've created magic and suspended disbelief. You are the box we think outside of, the vessel through which we travel, our individual paths, our holy place, our sanctuary. And most days, it's all I can do to fight back the tears of joy that well up inside me while I'm scrolling through all the love we spill for you on the internet. Little digital reminders of why we do what we do, why we live how we live, these art forms are our lifelines, visionary veins, artistic arteries, comedic capillaries that pump the blood and breath through your vascular system. You bleed into our daily lives and we find ourselves snapping our fingers at inappropriate times. We take you with us everywhere we go and if there's ever two or more of us in a room, that room becomes the venue and you would swear there were 35 of us the way we go in when we represent for you a feeling so intense for you there are no words good enough that I could pen for you even if if I invent a few, my queen, you make me wish I'd written we are the champions, but our anthem is unwritable. You make me want to climb up onto a soapbox and yell the names of all the people I love into a megaphone, but that wouldn't be fair to all those loved ones whose names I don't know yet. Look how much you mean. Look how much you matter. You can help us change the world. Look how much you've already changed all of us. <laughs>